Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Premier, given that the New South Wales Sexual Violence Helpline has not received a funding boost in over a decade, despite a massive increase in demand, and that this shortfall results in one in three calls going unanswered, will you commit to increasing funding in this budget to ensure that every survivor of sexual assault who calls the support line gets their call answered when they ring? Premier. Well, uh, I thank the member for Newtown for her question um, and obviously her interest in this matter. And I share her views, as I'm sure everyone in this house does, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, that sexual assault is obviously a serious and devastating crime. And as much as governments can do to invest to prevent, uh, we should do. And that's why, uh, Mr. Speaker, without wanting to preempt the budget process, the member will uh, know all too well, uh, know all too well, the support programs that are in place and the enhancements that. Uh, we have made uh, since the last budget, uh, Mr. Speaker, as we came out of uh, the um, as we came out of the second wave of the pandemic through the economic recovery work that the New South Wales government provided further support, including, uh, Mr. Speaker, the New South Wales Health Sexual Assault Services uh, around 22 million, as, as the member knows, um, and they provide specialist sexual assault services in every single local health district across New South Wales, operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In addition to the base funding since the 2017-18 budget, the government has allocated $10 million a year for the New South Wales Health Violence, Abuse and Neglect Redesign Program. This program provides 24-hour specialist integrated psychological, medical and forensic response to sexual assault. Mr Speaker, in addition to that, the government has a long-standing funding arrangement with Full Stop Australia, which delivers online counselling service to anyone in New South Wales who has experienced sexual assault. Government, uh, the government has funded Full Stop Australia for nearly 50 years and provides over $1.5 million annually to support that helpline. In addition to that, Full Stop Australia through New South Wales support provides in-person counselling services to adult women who have experienced sexual abuse in childhood. Uh, New South Wales Health has provided funding increase for more than 75% to NGO grant program recipients over the last 30 years. Uh, in addition, Mr Speaker, we partnered with the Commonwealth Government, as the member knows, on a whole range of other agreements, including the Domestic Fi Family Violence National Partnership Agreement. Um, and in addition to that, Mr Speaker, the second round of the MPA recipients is expected to be announced um, shortly, and that package forms part of the additional $140 million funding boost over two years from the New South Wales and Commonwealth Governments. In relation to the work that we did in the economic recovery, um, uh, Mr Speaker, we allocated Member for Newtown. Do you rise on a point of order? Thank you, Speaker. And a point of order, it's um, directly relevant, 129. I appreciate the Premier is outlining a range of measures of which they are strong and good, but at the moment, one in three calls are going unanswered. If, a, if someone hears about our new consent laws today and they call the helpline, one in three will get an answering machine and may never call back. Thank you. I'll ask the Premier to continue his answer. And, and, and Mr Speaker, in, in response to that, and perhaps we can have an extension um, as well, in response to that... Two minutes granted. Um, Mr Speaker, in, in, in response to the, the um, point of order, I, I accept those concerns and I'm more than happy to take them on board and look into them. Uh, we want to make sure that all counselling services, whether they uh, that are funded by the New South Wales Government, uh, ensure that people who need that support and help are given it. So. I'm more than happy uh, to formally look into that specific area. But in addition to that, the government continues to invest record amounts. And I was speaking to the um, Minister uh, uh, for Women just the other day, Mr Speaker, in relation to an update on the program that the Attorney General and the Treasurer and I announced in the economic recovery uh, for the half a billion dollars for additional accommodation and specialist support services to support women and children leaving domestic and family violence. Um, and my understanding is that program and that infrastructure investment is rolling out well, and where we can do more, we should. Uh, the member will know that we invested $687 million over four years, which includes $80 million in Commonwealth funding to improve victim safety and reduce family violence reoffending. Uh, this is an important priority for the government, Mr Speaker. Uh, no woman should feel un, uh, unsafe um, or suffer from these horrific crimes, and where we can do more to provide that support, we will, in respect of the specific question on um, that line and how further support can be provided. I'm more than happy to take it up with the member and see what we can do.